Dear students, in this video lecture, we are going to learn problems under the topic Total Differential Equations. Now here we are going to see the total differential equation in three variables. It is given by capital P dx plus capital Q dy plus capital R dz is equal to 0. In order to solve it, first we have to check the condition for integrability. The condition for integrability is given by P multiplied with dou Q by dou Z minus dou R by dou Y plus Q multiplied with dou R by dou X minus dou P by dou Z plus R multiplied with dou P by dou Y minus dou Q by dou X equals 0. So, in order to check, the, check whether the given equation satisfies the condition for integrability, we first need to differentiate P, Q and R with respect to the variables X, Y and Z partially and then take and substitute those values in this condition and check whether it is equal to 0. Then we have to proceed the steps in order to solve the given total differential equation. So we shall deal with the problem here. So solve y plus z dx plus z plus x dy plus x plus y dz equals 0. Now here if you compare the given equation, we see that it is, a, it is of the form p dx plus q dy plus r dz equals 0. So it is a total differential equation in three variables. So first we shall take the values of p and we shall write. The value of p is y plus z, the value of q is z plus x and the value of r is x plus y. So we shall write that first. So I have taken and I have written the values of p, q and r. Now after writing the values of p, q and r, we need to check the condition for integrability. So what is the condition for integrability? It is here. So we need to find each of these terms now. First of all, we let us find dou q by dou z. So here we have q and so dou q by dou z will be equal to. We have to partially differentiate q with respect to z. So x will be treated as constant and on differentiation it will become 0 and the differentiation of z will be 1. The second that we have to find is dou r by dou y. So we shall differentiate r with respect to y. So that will be equal to the differentiation of y is 1 and x is 0. So it will be 1. Next is dou r by dou x. Again that will also will be equal to 1 only because on differentiation y will become 0 as it will be treated as constant and the differentiation of x with respect to x will be 1. In a similar way we have to find dou p by dou z. So dou p by dou z and also this will be equal to 1 in the same way. And then we have to find dou p by dou y. So that will be dou p by dou y and this will also be equal to 1. And at last we have to find dou q by dou x which will also be equal to 1 only. So now we have got all these values. Let us substitute these values in the condition for integrability. And we shall check whether those values on uh, simplification whether they give 0 or not. So first we have to write p. So what is p? p is y plus z. So y plus z multiplied with. So we see that dou q by dou z was 1 and dou r by dou y is also 1. So we will be having 1 minus 1. In a similar way the second will be here q multiplied with this. q is z plus x. So z plus x multiplied with again this will also be 1 minus 1. And at last r multiplied with so x plus y multiplied with 1 minus 1 here also because these two values are also 1. So if you see each of the terms becomes 0 because we have 1 minus 1 over here. So this will be 0, this is 0 and this is 0 and therefore the complete value is equal to 0 and it has satisfied the condition for integrability. So this condition is satisfied. So after checking the condition for integrability, we shall proceed to solve this problem by grouping the terms. So now I am going to group it in convenience that I can solve it easily. That is, uh, I am going to group first term we have here as y dx. So I am going to group y dx and x dy. So that it will be easy for me to uh, solve it. 
so y dx plus x dy so that term i am going to write together first y dx plus x dy and then plus what is the next one z dx i have so x d z i should group so x d z and z dx i am grouping so x d z plus z dx so these terms are over the next that i am going to group is z dy i have and so y d z has to be grouped along with it so z dy plus y d z so now if you if you check so this is equal to 0 so from the question now if you check all the terms are grouped so after grouping them i can write this y dx plus x dy as differentiation of x y because differentiation of x y is what first we will treat uh, x y as constant and differentiate x which is dx plus x will be treated as constant and differentiation of y is dy so uv method when we apply for this this is what we get so this can be rewritten as d of xy plus similarly this can be rewritten as d of x z plus this can be rewritten as d of zy is equal to 0 so finally we can write it as d, what is difference d of uh, i mean uh, we can write in general as d of xy plus xz plus zy is equal to 0 now on integrating both the sides what is the integral of a differentiation it will be this term that is xy plus xz plus zy is equal to a uh, integral constant when integrate i mean zero when integrated it will become a constant so this is the required solution for the given problem so remember first we have to check the condition for integrability and after checking that we have to regroup the terms in order that we can conveniently write so that we can integrate it easily so uh, we have done that and uh, we have got after integrating we have got the solution as this so xy plus x z plus zy equal to c is the solution of the given problem so hope you have understood this problem in our next video we will see a 15 mark question under the same topic thank you